here we have it. Lindsay Lohan at a rehab after, again, just 22 days of that 90-day court-ordered sentence. Deborah Oprey, off to you first. Do you think this was a smart move? Well, you know, the judge's hands are tied because who would have thought that a diagnosis two or three times prior with Lindsay is now deemed to be wrong by uh, very reputable doctors at UCLA. And if the diagnosis was wrong prior and it's right now and she's off of those meds and she's not deemed an addict any longer, then this rehab is senseless. And Judge Eldon now has new evidence before him, new reports, and I think it's done. I think he says, okay, she's paid her time, she's uh, done her rehab, and now she's on probation to August 11, informal and she's off to New York. I think this is a good start for Lindsay. Well, Lindsay's estranged dad, Michael Lowen, spoke out this morning about Lindsay's release from rehab, and he's telling Showbiz tonight, hey, you know what, good for Lindsay. Brooke, you know, you and I, I have talked about this extensively, and when a father, a parent, who is estranged from his daughter and obviously the ex-wife, Talk out of, talks out of both sides of his mouth. He is not helping the situation. Mm -hmm. uh, he shouldn't have said anything to begin with. It is up to the doctors at this point to say she doesn't need rehab. It's mm -hmm. not up to the lawyers, the parents, nothing. Nothing at all is going to help her with what he has to say. And I would appreciate it if both parents just let her get on with her life. She needs stability, and they're not lending credo to it. What are you expecting to happen in just a few moments in that courtroom? Eldon Fox, the new judge on the case, is going to take the new evidence before him and rule on it. He's going to say uh, she's done here. She's done her time in uh, the L.A. County. She's done her rehab stint pursuant to the doctor's recommendations. He will probably put her on random drug testing in formal probation. I don't think he will have any say in her relocating to New York, but she will be on probation till August 2011, and I think that will be the extent of what happens today he's going to want some contact and some control over her but it's going to be minimal at best from here on in Deborah Oprey let me ask you this you know despite the fact that she did not serve her entire jail sentence she is not obviously serving her entire mandated uh, stay in rehab do you think that this nonetheless will be will have been will prove to be a dramatic wake-up call for Lindsay because you're hearing our colleagues saying right here they think she's going to be back in the system before too long as tough it is as it is for everyone to understand and accept, the jails are overcrowded. She may have been misdiagnosed on three or four other occasions, and maybe, just maybe, she did the time she needed to do. She's moving to New York. She'll stay out of a car. Hopefully, she'll get to work and she'll stay out of trouble. And if, if the doctors at UCLA are correct and she was misdiagnosed and she is not, uh, an addict for those issues they said she was misdiagnosed for, then why are we constantly on her? She paid her debt to society. She should stay out of trouble. She's been in a jail cell. I know she doesn't want to go back. Deborah, we've heard some mixed messages from Michael Lowen over the course of Lindsay's troubles. He has consistently said rehab is where she needs to be. Now he seems relieved that she's out. What's the deal? You know, you just go with the flow. If they say it's red, oh, yeah, I knew it was red all the time. If they say it's blue, that's right, it's blue. <laughs> I think the two parents should, uh, we, they should just stay out of it. I mean, Dina, she's on the Today Show, and I'm sure Lindsay prodded her along saying my, my daughter got a bum rap. Michael's saying she needs help. Just get out of the picture. Let Lindsay go back to work. I think she's learned her lesson. You can spend one hour in a jail cell. That'll knock some sense out of you, into and you, rather. And, and, and I Deborah, think Lindsay, she's on and, her way to repair. Carlos, Deborah, Sonny, Showbiz Tonight obtained the advanced copy of People Magazine's exclusive interview with Elin, um, in which she's finally revealing her side of the story including her first reaction when she found out Tiger was cheating. She tells people that she felt absolute shock and disbelief. I felt stupid as more things were revealed. How could I not have known anything? I believe she was a happily married wife and mother. I believe she loved him unconditionally, and I believe yeah. that he kept her in the dark, uh, calling her whatever, I'm on tour, and uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, it's going to take a long time for her to trust again, but she is a very strong woman, and I've handled a lot of cases where the wives come in and tell me I never knew what was going on. I wish her luck. I'm very proud of her, a very strong woman.
Yeah, me too. Another big burning question she answered in this exclusive with, Pe with People magazine is whether or not she chased after Tiger with a golf club on Thanksgiving when he crashed his car into a tree. Carlos, did she put the speculation <laughs> over that night to rest for you? No. <laughs> no, she didn't. I'm sorry. <laughs> Here comes the oh, no, hold on. You were influenced oh, by no. SNL. Because, because Tiger, Tiger had, he said something to the cops. They had the story to the cops. She can't go back on that story now. I'm amazed that she's talking. There had to be some kind of deal worked out where, okay, I'll talk to people oh. and that's it. I'm amazed that Tiger oh, is Carlos. allowing her to talk on this one. That's what I'm amazed with. <laughs> All right, there's Carlos. the Senate coming out there in you, Carlos. Yes. I knew it would only take a, take a little bit of time. Okay, well, Elin says that she has not a single regret. I think that's impressive. And what you said, Sonny, I say it's bravo, Elin. Bravo. Um, good for you. Good She's staying good strong and healthy for herself and her children. Okay, Carlos Diaz, Deborah Oprey, Sonny Hostin, thanks.